Okay, today we are at Barbary. We're going to attempt this eventing lark. Since last time, we've put a little bit more work into her. We've also put her on regumate, so we're hoping for slightly better behaviour than she was at Lark Hill. Uh, we've also managed to go cross-country schooling because the ground's now hard hardened up and we did that on Friday. Yesterday we went over the steepest hill I could find and so hopefully we now have a fairly like sensible horse who is going to behave us up today. But this is famous last words. I'm slightly anxious about the cross-country because I've like lost all ability to a ride forwards. Uh, I've resorted just holding the neck strap and rather than the horse's mouth. Um, hopefully that won't impact my steering. <laughs> and last week I did go and jump 110 which I haven't done since 2019 so fingers crossed the show jumping might be fairly sensible. But this is Incy, the little princess, little treasure that she is and So Barbary is pretty stunning as a venue. Uh, it's pretty windy here today, uh, sunny but windy. So the dressage arenas are just down the bottom of the hill there. And then if I pan across, there's the cross country start. And then the cross country course runs around the most beautiful kind of natural bowl. Brilliant for viewing as you'll see later. I should be able to video a lot of the course <laughs> if we get that far. So in C is behaving quite well, which is not always a good sign. She behaved quite well at our kill and then she was a monster in the test. So I will reserve judgment for now. Other than she hasn't been bucked off yet. Which is great. Um, apparently Lucy said I tutted and sighed too much in the last eventing vlog. But I did point out it's because it was a pretty bad day. She bucked in the dressage and the show jumping. And then she fell off cross country. So I did a lot of tutting and sighing. I'm gonna hope that I'm not gonna do any today, or at least less, and that'll be a good day. We'll see.
Well, she's got a nice test. So this is Barbary's amazing yeah, children figurine. Which is pretty cool. Um, but the warm-up is a little tight. So, be interesting. Oh, she turned left. Oh, what's she turned left for? <laughs> oh, lack of direction. And she corrected it in time. Well, I'm very pleased with actually doing around. Ironically, me going the wrong direction and then having to turn round and not cross my tracks actually really helped me because then I rode really forwards the whole way round, which is actually how I need to ride cross country. So she was super and I could just be on those lovely forward shots. And because I knew the time was short, I just couldn't, I wasn't adding strides or taking a pull. So actually, even though at the time I was like, oh my God, why did I do this? And I was expecting to have time faults. It's actually the best thing that could have happened for my riding. Everything's quite tight timings today, so we're not doing much vlogging in between. Uh, we've sort of got less than an hour in between everything. So we're just going to get her kitted up and go down to the cross country. Uh, there's nothing too much, too much of concern cross country, but sometimes with her it's a bit where her brain's at. So far, two out of three. Horse's brain has been in the game. Rider's gone wrong twice, but we might forgive that. We'd rather the horse is good. Standard. Well, a beautiful striding to the second. Incy Wincy Cincy does get away. And the triple bar, Donna Mallon uphill now towards that right hydrogen funnel. Not able to compete here last year, so first time out at Barbary over the 100 course. Donna, very pleased to be here for that. Ah, 
you knew that would be a bit spooky. Still, it's annoying. Go oh, on. Two left to go for this castle into Winter City. A real shame with that problem at 12. Final combination there. Winter City. Two elements to it over the air. Four strides. Out of the beat. They'll go to medium now, won't they? Mm, yeah, I think so. There you go, ponies happy safely home from cross country, having a munch, plaques out, studs out, though annoyingly one's stuck, so I need to get some pliers, just got to clear up this mess, Next. and then I think it'll be ice cream time. Told you it's the only reason I came. Yeah. I fancy, yeah, cider lolly, ooh. <laughs> Gin today. Not a gin day today. It's been a disaster. Didn't One thing I should uh, note is, oh, got my brown beauties back. They got repaired, so they are back in action. Woohoo! Oh, successfully made it home. Incy's just having. I need to move ponies around because one of the four-year-olds bashed his leg, so he's on some antibiotics. So he's been moved out of the robbie. Uh, so I need to move him back again so I can get Incy through. Who's not looking too hard, but she doesn't want to feed because I put gastric stuff in it. And she's clearly decided she doesn't like it because it's minty and she doesn't like mint. You okay, Ince? Good. You were fairly good today. Didn't have a single buck. Yeah. So, slightly frustrating about the stop. I'm going to take you while I do finish up doing feeds. Uh, slightly frustrated about the stop, but nothing um she's still very green for the level and to be fair she's made it further than fence 10 which for the last couple of cross countries one in july when i was at the riding club championships and then the other day when i was at clark well not the other day the other month when i was at lark hill so yes we've actually made it further than fence 10 which is quite a miracle really i think nc thinks cross country was just about show jumping done by a rider and coming home but no, today we actually made it to finish. Annoying 20, but it was causing a few problems. I think she'll get better for that. She is that kind of horse that needs to just get out and run and see a bit of life. And then uh, we are back out next week at Pontypool. She's a bit sore through her pole. I've noticed that to put the bridle on today, she was very awkward about it. So I need to get someone else to come see that. That's her weak spot, mostly because she's got a built up bit of muscle at the top of the right. And then she. Uh, we're trying to get more flexion and bend through the body through the left. And she's one of those who's not 100% right, she's awkward about stuff. That's fine, we'll get that sorted. The reggae mate's made a big difference, don't have a single buck. And then um, hard work really pays off for it, see? So that will carry on as well. I don't think she'll need to go cross country schooling again. Um, and I just need to believe that I can see a forward shot to a stride and that it will all be fine because I'm on an athletic horse. And believe in myself because obviously last two cross countries not going brilliantly it doesn't help your minds mindset i hate that word like what you think about yourself um anyway so all in all not too painful very pleased with the show jumping dressage will get better cross country will get better the more she goes right thank you very much everyone and uh, see you soon